What's up guys, so I'm here in Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Edition, so I did a video a little while ago about all of the cool glitches that are in different versions of Street Fighter 2, and I thought it would be fun to go revisit that and see if we can still execute these glitches in the 30th Anniversary Collection, so let's hop right in. So the first glitch that I showed in that video was the Invisible Dawson glitch, and to do that you just do a fireball, but you have to input Heavy Kick one frame before the fireball comes out. So let's see, it's a pretty hard input, so let's see if we can actually do it. Might take a few tries here. There it is, alright, so we're invisible and we're stuck here. Uh, if I grab my other controller here, I can knock Dalsim out of it, and then we can test if it still soft locks the game. So let's push Zangief away real quick so that we don't just hit him a bunch. Nice, we got it first try, so let's wait for a time run out. And then uh, we'll skip to that and see if it soft locks. Yeah, it looks like we have a soft lock here. Zangief's just flexing. <laughs> it's not going to go to the next round. Obviously, in this version, we can hit pause and then go to quit. Uh, it's worth noting that since this is in the original version of Street Fighter 2, the World Warrior, uh, you cannot play this version online, so it's not an issue you're going to run into in a match. But it's interesting that uh, these glitches are still here, which I guess makes sense because this is an emulated version of the arcade. Okay, so next up is going to be Zangief's full screen reversal throw. Uh, this one might be tough to do since I'm using both controllers myself, but let's see if we can pull it off. So the trick here is that you block it, and then you get a reversal 360 plus medium kick. Looks like I'm doing it a little bit late there. This might take a few tries as well. There we go, guys. We got it. So yeah, it's really hard to actually get the timing there. Uh, but it does seem like it works. I'll just go for one more to make sure. There, we got it again. So, yep, this is in, uh, Super Street Fighter 2, and here I'm testing it out in Super Turbo as well. This glitch works with old Zangief and Super Turbo if you use 360 plus hard kick. So let's test this out real quick. Looks like it does not work, unless I'm doing uh, the wrong input here. Uh, I'll try it with some different buttons, just to make sure. Okay, so the first time I did it with hard kick, 360 plus hard kick, and it didn't work. There I did it with 360 plus medium kick, and still nothing. That was 360 plus heavy punch, medium punch. I'll try the lights real quick, just to be extra sure. There it was with light kick. And there it was with light punch. So definitely seems like this glitch does not work in Super Turbo in this game. Uh, I'm not sure if that's something that they were actually able to patch out or if it's just that the specific ROM of Super Turbo they're using doesn't have that glitch. Someone who's a little bit more familiar with the different versions can let me know down in the comments. So yeah, for now it looks like in Super Turbo the full screen reversal throw glitch does not work. And since that's an online version that you're able to play against other people, uh, it's interesting that that glitch is not one that you're going to be able to use online. And just to be sure, I'm here trying it with new Zangief as well, just to make sure it doesn't work with either Zangief. I've done hard kick, medium kick, there was light kick, we'll do the punches as well. Hard punch. Medium punch. And light punch. So yeah, definitely no full screen reversal throws for Zangief in Super Turbo in the 30th Anniversary Collection. Alright guys, so next we're testing out uh, the Vega OTG glitch. In case you don't know, in the original version of Street Fighter 2, Vega is the only character in the game who can be hit while he's on the ground. I had to fight all the way through arcade mode to get this far, so hopefully I'm actually able to test it here. He's pretty hard because uh, he's just jumping all the time, so it's kind of hard to knock him down. There it was. Yep, so it does work. You can hit him off the ground. Maybe we can get one more of these. Yep, and there was another one, so definitely the OTG glitch still works. There's the third one for good measure. Uh, but again, this only works against AI Vega because he's not playable in the World Warrior. But it's still a fun glitch and it allows for a lot of combos that aren't otherwise possible in the game. And speaking of Vega, here we are playing as Vega. 
in Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition to see if the uh, scroll... Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> the scroll glitch does work in the 30th anniversary edition of the game. So again, this is only one that can be done in arcade mode because uh, obviously you have to be on the bonus stage. But yeah, I love this glitch. I just think it looks so cool. <laughs> so yeah, while he's scrolling, you can't really control him or anything. But you know, eventually he comes back. So yeah, this one definitely does work. And speaking of bonus stages, here is the other bonus stage glitch where you can bounce infinitely on the car. Uh, this one's a little bit tricky to set up, so let's see if we can do it. There we go. So we got it. So he'll just bounce here forever, and this, I believe, does soft lock the game. So we're going to have to open up the menu and quit if we want to get out of the infinite humping here. Finally, we're going to be covering all of the Guile glitches. So first of all, the, the stance. Let's go for that. There we go. Here we are in the stance. And a lot of people corrected me. I thought you couldn't get out of this, but you can. If you do a flash kick motion, you will get out. And then we have the handcuffs. Let's see if I can actually do it. There we go. Uh, and so some people were also kind enough to correct me that you can actually let them out of the handcuffs by doing the magic throw. Uh, this one's a little bit tricky, but let's see if I can do it. There it was. And so obviously the magic throw does work as well. Let's try that. There it was. Uh, so that glitch looks pretty cool. Um, and then finally we have the scrolling glitch that I showed before. If you do a fierce throw into flash kick, let's try that. Uh, so it looks like that doesn't work in this game. Instead, you get kind of a different handcuffs glitch. I've never seen this before. Usually, I thought that if you did a fierce throw into a flash kick, uh, you'd either get the scrolling glitch or you would get the game reset glitch. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. It's probably depending on which version of World Warrior you're playing. But it looks like in this one, we got the handcuffs glitch. Let's see if we can magic throw to get him out. There it went. Yep, so just like a normal handcuffs glitch. So you can see there's kind of like a minor difference in animation there. With the normal handcuffs, you throw him forward, and then he kind of teleports behind you, and then back in front of you. Um, but with this other one, I don't know, it's, it's a little weird. Let's do it one more time with the fierce punch button. So yeah, there he does the suplex throw, but then he goes into handcuffs. So no scrolling glitch, no weird getting stuck and dancing in the air, and no hard reset of the game. Just this uh, odd hard punch throw handcuffs. If anyone knows why that happens, like if it's something to do with the version of the game, please let me know down in the comments, uh, and I would very much appreciate it. So guys, that's going to be it for the glitches. Again, if you haven't seen the original Street Fighter 2 glitch video I did, be sure to check that out. The link is right there. Uh, or if you want to see more glitch videos from me, you can check out my Dragon Ball Fighters glitch compilation right there. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.